The reason why I ordered these shoes was because I was looking for a hiking boot and I Google searched hiking boots, women's hiking boots, and blund blundstones popped up. Like, I think the ankles are kind of tight, which is crazy because I have narrow, like, I have pretty small ankles, um, I thought, and narrow feet. And I'm hoping it's because they're new and stiff. There's a lot of room, like, they're comfortable in the body of the shoe. Like, it feels like my foot's uh has some space and it's comfortable it fits like a nine like it fits truly like uh any other nine i have uh i was like considering oh should i get should i go a half size up should i get a nine and a half because like when i wear running shoes i'll wear instead of wearing the nine i'll do a ten and then sometimes the ten is too big so like nine and a half ten I'll wear for running shoes. And I was like, well, if I'm getting a hiking boot, should I have that same theory of going up a half size or a full size bigger? So far, the nine sticking with my true nine feels pretty good. I'm just kind of surprised they called this a hiking boot. And I do see people like hiking in them. Uh, I'm not sure how long of a distance you can go. Like I'm not gonna hike in these on the Appalachian Trail or anything long distance, but I wanted something I could slip into fast in all weather and I like this that you just slide right in no zippers I had a pair of Ariats that had a zipper and for whatever reason it rubbed the top of my foot right there and I think those were an eight and a half some I used to go like a half size down so they were super uncomfortable I couldn't wear them but it was this concept the area. I really like how these feel. The only concern is that right, it's rubbing right here on my, I guess that's my Achilles. It's kind of like almost rubbing to a point where I'm like, is this gonna like stretch out? Like I'm a little concerned about that. Um, I'm like, do I have to wear padded socks? I usually don't wear big like wool socks because I live in like the subtropics, but I will be uh, moving around the country this summer so that's why i wanted to get something like decent for all weather and these are leather synthetic lining and sole genuine leather upper i was told that these never crack yes some leather cracks in all weather or snow or rain once the moisture dries over time the leather will crack i've had this pair of western boots that are leather for over a decade and they're just now cr starting to crack so, I mean, I don't expect to have these for a decade, but if I can wear these for like five, seven years, like that'd be a win. They were $200, 200 US. I ordered directly from Blundstone's website because everywhere I shop for them, I didn't want to get them used because I was like, I don't know, shoes for me used. That's kind of like icky. But right now, my only concerns are that they're a little tight to get into and this feels like it rubs on the Achilles just a bit. And I'm hoping that that is just because they're right out of the box and they'll stretch out. I assume this elastic material is what will stretch fastest. Um, just this motion, you know, imagine doing this like a bunch of times, getting your foot in and out. Walking though, they're a little bit higher than some of the other styles. I would call this a mid-rise. They had the lower ones, and then I think there was even higher ones. But we're, I mean, for $200, I'm gonna chance it. I think they'll stretch out and they'll be more comfortable. And the few reviews I did watch make it sound like they are comfortable for hiking. Um, and like I said, hiking is a loose term. I'm not gonna be going miles in these, but I will be wearing them daily in all weather slip into them. That's when I wanted something to slip into that lasts and that's comfortable and easy. No zippers, no laces. Let's go.